Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 6 of our Middle Earth project in Crystal Kings 2. Let's continue. So, we finally regained our ring, not in the previous episode, I guess in the episode, uh, in the one episode ago and... or one episode before this one. Uh, and yeah, we are now on the expansion spree. We already took like one pro uh, duchy from this guy, unfortunately we did not manage to fully subjugate his kingdom because... Uh, ring conquest CB didn't work out, and we're subjugating stuff in, in here. Also, apparently, we got ourselves a border with some elves. I didn't know there is a... There is elves still alive so close to the mortar and stuff, so... Might... Might attack them. Or we... We don't might... Or we... We don't might attack them, we have to attack them, so... Let's go and just unpause. We have tons of money, and I have no idea to, what to spend it on. There's actually some mercenary bands available, but they're pretty tiny. And I don't know if they're... If they're valuable at all. Oh, some dwarves. Interesting. Gardens of Middle-earth. But I could be... I could hire them as a murder. Yeah, that makes sense. So, they only cost 1.5... Uh, to maintain. Why is this thing so valuable? 37.5 because it's boats. Who needs boats? Let's just go and hire all the mercenaries. It shouldn't be that expensive and I could... Uh, could declare war, uh, wars while they're raised. So why the heck not? Uh, these guys are hired by someone else. Let's try not to hire any boats. Okay, so we have in total 27 extra thousand troops. We should be able to sustain them easily. <laughs> and even though these guys absolutely hate me, but they're still gonna be, they're still gonna help me conquer elves, because they're greedy little bastards, only work for money. Also, we could invest in some technology, apparently. Let's go and, no popular customs, and legalism, and improved keeps. Also, we should be spending our money on upgrades. Have we already... Constructed anything in our capital? Yeah, let's go and plop something else down, like... Mm, orc barracks. Sounds great. Okay, so let's wait for these guys to arrive here. The elves only have 400 troops, so I should be able to crush them easily, even if they're gonna have better... Uh, uh, better combat modifiers. We have also army of someone else staying nearby, but it's fine. And, yeah, we're gonna conquer elves. These guys are probably gonna leave for now, because we do have a truce with them, and... If you only have ring conquest CB, it's... Gonna be a pain in the butt to conquer them, right? So I'd rather just ignore them and... And, no, declare on someone who I have regular conquest. Actually, I probably don't have that many people. I have reader mark. How is our truce looking? Our truce finished. Okay, reader mark gonna be our next target. We could just conquer his whole kingdom uh, in one war, so that's gonna be nice. Any other mercenaries available in here? Only boats, and this guy is hired by you. What are you up to? Attacking this guy in invasion of hard weight. Uh, okay. You have your problems. Have some person in our prison, really? We could ransom one of you for 10 tickets. Or we could... No, we couldn't even torture you on wheel. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I guess 10 extra ducats, not gonna hurt. Also, I always forget that I need to lead armies if I want them uh, to be really freaking quick. So, we're gonna lead these ones. <laughs> on the sides we're gonna have gnomes, or dwarves rather. And they're gonna help me crush elves. Sounds great. Do you have any allies? Don't. Invasion or ring conquest? Doesn't really matter, so I guess I'm just gonna declare invasion. And let's see if the war with elves is gonna be any different with, uh, than with any other people. They have 800, I have 78. So 10 times as many? Yeah, not gonna be a problem to destroy, especially considering that I'm myself leading the army and it's already 100% war score. Really? Okay, let's go and enforce the mans. Do we get to imprison anyone? No, this guy just got transferred to the court 
of the other elf. But I do have this elven holdings, which are really well upgraded. Or relatively well. Obviously I'm not gonna keep them for myself, even though I have tons of demand size. Is there any reason for me to keep it? Elven archer companies, archers, light infantry. I'm not gonna be able to raise any elves from here, I'm pretty sure, right? Based on my culture and stuff, so I'm just gonna give it away. Is it also the part of the kingdom inside the kingdom? Yeah, it's the kingdom of one province. Uh, and it only could be created by elven characters. What about a duchy? Actually, what's the point of creating a duchy? It's only gonna be one province, so let's go and just give it away to, to someone. Man, not imprisoned, any marriage, not a ruler. Uh, you look nice. Could you hold any titles? Do you want to become a ruler of Elven Forest? And burn it all down? Uh, you're welcome. Get yourself Tower Roman. Cool. Let's move on. Okay, Rune. Probably just gonna ignore for now. This guy have 8,000 troops. I would probably need... Oh, what's up? I would probably need to... raise my personal troops anyways. In some of these wars. I actually should be able to... build retinues now that I think about it. We have heavy cavalry in here, or archers and heavy infantry. Heavy cavalry probably, even though it's gonna... Oh, they're not even more expensive. Ah, because there's less of them. Yeah, heavy cavalry should be a lot more potent in battle. So we're just gonna spend all, all of our money on this resinues. Or not all of our money, like down to, I guess, 1500, because I would need to spend a lot on reinforcements. I could spend even more. And yeah, we're gonna be trying to conquer using our retinues, because it's gonna be a lot easier. So, 2000 more troops. Sounds great, let's go and combine them with mercenaries. And they're just gonna be reinforcing when they can. We still have positive income, even with all of these mercenaries and resinues, so that's quite great. And they still have money to upgrade our capital if needed. I might consider building some more buildings in our capital for, like, income, if it's possible. Um, fort level, garrison, levy, tax income, plus two. For 400 ducats, yeah, I guess that should be worth it. Uh, so, who's gonna be the next target for us to attack? Who's weak enough? Oh yeah, I've I been thinking about Riddermark. They have 7,000 troops. We have 7,000 troops. Okay, this is not gonna be enough to fight with them quite yet. So I guess I'm gonna declare war on you right now. You're fighting with no one, that's fine. Let's go and declare invasion of whatever. West Temnet. Then we're gonna raise our personal troops. Split them in half. Disband the smaller one. And place ourselves in charge. And we should be able to reach your holdings really f quick. And this... Yeah, look <laughs> look at this movement speed. It's like one day per one province. It's just insane. This conquest is gonna end... Almost immediately. Um, let's... We could even consider spreading you some uh, somewhat more. And even this 8000 stack could participate. So, do I need to assault? We have up to 1000 defenders, so that's a little bit more than I would like to deal with. Actually, let's go and... Uh, uh, no, we don't need to kill his army. Because anyways we would need to destroy... Or we need to siege down all of his holdings if we want to take all of that. But actually no, let's go and destroy the army. Because they're gonna be annoying, they're gonna be trying to resiege stuff. Uh, why do we only have one flank? And it's not even led by me? Uh, okay, that's unexpected. Let's go and get ourselves here. And get reinforced, because these guys wanna get killed, yeah. I'd better lead the armies if I want them to win. Because of my all of my awesome combat modifiers. Okay, their army is gone. Now we should be able to even like split our armies in the stack of like five thousand and just spread all over their face. Yeah, that should be enough, maybe. So you go here. You go here. 
one go here and one go here. Are they all spread in different directions? I hope so. Mm, yeah, looks like it's working and there is still retinue and mercenaries coming. Let's go and get ourselves on charge of here to move it slightly quicker. Okay, we've started the sieges of a lot of places. You, could you be sp split it? Yeah, let's go and split you even more. 3000 is enough to siege stuff. You unfortunately couldn't be split it and you couldn't. Okay. We're going to be sieging with these armies then. Uh, could you please not siege down my holdings? Or I'm going to kill you with my own hands? Yeah, since to all of my combat modifiers uh, and the ring, it doesn't even matter <laughs> which kind of troops I'm fighting now. My ring is just OP. And I like it. So, when we're going to conquer Ritter Mark. Why is Eisen March? Oh, it's so huge. It's currently controlled by orcs. Cool. So we're pro we're probably gonna be s we're gonna start heading towards the Shire, because these stupid dwarfs or hobbits have to pay for what they've done. Also, Gondor is part of this war. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that you're elite. Uh, with Reader Mark. Okay, let's go and get this 10,000 stack army and get ourselves on charge. And let's go and destroy this army. We're gonna be able to run towards here. Or we're probably like flying. All of our orcs flying on their tiny wings to get here. Yeah, moral damage, 14,000. Yeah, I don't think any kind of troops could do s uh, such kind of damage on their uh, side, so that's great. And now you could run back. Mm, we apparently captured some... Oh, we have, we have captured a lot of prisoners. Yeah, the ones we could ransom, we are going to ransom. Because money is always welcome. Even those uh, such tiny bits. How's our income looking? We're losing 27 ducats per month. Why? Oh, because I raised my personal levy, yeah. They are quite expensive. Oh, 46 ducats. Is it like one of your sons or something? I don't know. But he's pretty expensive for some reason. And... What is this army? Black tree. Oh, it's... It's Gondor again. Gondor, stop! Stop with this annoyance. You're not gonna be able to fight me off. You had one chance... To destroy my ring and you failed, so... Don't even try now. We have 100% war score, but we need to siege down all the provinces, so... This war not gonna end that quickly, unfortunately. We actually could raise 40,000 more troops from our capital. And I'm willing to do this, just to speed, speed this up slightly more. I'm gonna spread them out... ...all over these provinces. It would be also nice if this mod had a... Oh, we have Faramir! I remember this name. Farmer the son of Elisar. Cool. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if, if there were a button to like ransom all the prisoners. But unfortunately there is not. Uh, let's go and ransom some more people. So, you need to be spreaded. One going here, one going here. Yeah, I'm just gonna be shuffling myself uh, around all the armies. Just to give them max max speed. The lands of Middle Earth are yours. You have but to send forth your armies and take what is rightfully yours. That's true. This is neighboring duchy, for example. It will be mine. Sauron gets a strong claim on city of es Escargo. Expand your realm. What is Escargo? Where is that? Uh, it's not really nearby, but okay. I don't even need strong claim on you. I have invasion CB on everyone and uh, ring conquest. So that's nice that you gave me this CB, but or this claim, but it wasn't really necessary. Uh, okay, we're sitting down all the stuff in here. They still have a couple of annoying stacks. Let's go and get this nine thousand to destroy them and start the decision here. And this girl is really being annoying about me releasing her. Or maybe it's not the same girl, maybe they were just all 
looking the same. How about Ublet? Stop asking me for that. Not gonna ransom or not gonna release any of you. Okay, you go search this place. And everyone seems to be doing their work. No more of the ten stacks unfortunately could be splitted. For now, could you assault? Yeah, you probably could afford doing some assaults. Because I'm already bored of this war. We need to finish it immediately and continue our expansion towards the hobbits. There's probably a lot of provinces. Yeah, there's a lot of provinces that would need to be colonized. Uh, oh, Gondor apparently have some provinces in here. Yeah, a lot of provinces that might need to be colonized. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, declare a war on, uh, on the Shire before uh, colonizing. I don't know. We're going to check it out later. He's still managing to raise armies somewhere, even though like all of his lands are under the siege right now, so... That's quite surprising. But I'm still gonna kill them anyways. Oh, I've accidentally retreated from the battle. Now my prisoner talking about her dark cell, yeah. That's so unfortunate that you have to be sitting in your freaking dark cell. Uh, could I just... Yeah, there's also no button to execute them all. Because the ones I couldn't ransom, I would really be fine with executing. Just as I'm not going to take space in my prison. We have 49 prisoners. And only one of them available for ransom. Your land has been porched of enemies and now orcs are swarm I swarming in to settle the abandoned places. Uh, any all. Impin becomes orcs. Impin becomes orcish. Suit crofts become orcish. Let me check where is that. Impink. The Mines of Impink. In here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Norcroft, Sudcroft, Fenmarch. There's probably most of the... Most of the lands... That were controlled by... Riddermark. Yeah. Because... They were mostly... Okay, so let's go and... See how it's gonna change. Yeah, now it's Orcs. Great! Orcs... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna breed Orcs in every single province. That's right. That's the way it goes in the Mordor. Uh, you need... Actually, you could probably start this siege. You just sit here. Who else not doing much? You go here. You go here. And what armies am I leading? Let's go and place me here. For a speed up. Now let me place in here. Uh, Gondar. Stop. You can't win. Stop even trying. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a province in here, apparently, I didn't notice. There's two provinces in here. Okay. Yeah, they're so freaking tiny. It's, it's hard to see them. Okay, you need to go here. With me on charge. Please. Oh. I could place myself on charge in the middle, even though there's zero amount of troops. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Everything is being sieged except Harrowdale. We do have available troops, so let's go and send them here. Mm, also, do we have another one province in here? Yes! Oh my... F my goodness. Look at this province. It couldn't even fit an army in there, but it is a province. And it would be need it would need to be sieged as well. Okay. So we have this two thousand army. Let's go and send you somewhere. Really? Doesn't matter. Okay, everyone who gonna ask me about their uh cell, gonna go to Ublet. Because I'm already annoyed. No, I'm not gonna accept your surrender quite yet. I need every single your province. I, th I hope you're fine with that, right? Okay. Let's start the Sultan. And this army needs to be dead. And let's go and just start combining our armies and assault everything really quick. There's like only a couple provinces left. And go here. Could we reach this Aglarond province from anywhere? 
Maybe this one province is gonna give me a border. I'm not sure. Oh, Helms Deep. Look at the amount of defenders you have in here. That is surprising. Okay. Uh, so, who else could do assaults? It's probably too dangerous. You could do assaults. Okay, there is your siege. Uh, no, don't... Don't break the siege of Edoras. Not allowed. Mm, now go assault this place. Then go assault Edoras. If you could afford it. Yeah, you could. I thought Edoras was supposed to be the most fortified place, considering this is their capital. Oh, excuse me? What the fuck just happened? So I assaulted 2,000... 20,000 to 6,000. And my entire army got destroyed. Uh, interesting. Is it some... Some special... Building they have or something? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I guess we're gonna just siege you down in old-fashioned way, but... It's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode, but... We should be able to finish this war in, like, a couple of minutes in the next episode, so... If you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer it as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.